Conveying emotions and experiencing emotions largely depends on social and cultural aspects. And that said, you should be aware of the emotional qualities you perceive when you listen to certain sounds, chords, rhythms, melodies, so you can translate that into your music. The manipulation of musical elements in order to convey emotions comes as far as from the Renaissance period musical practices, which in turn comes from the ancient Greeks ideas about the symbiosis of oratory and music and how one should influence the other. For instance, in Renaissance, certain instruments would be used to depict contexts or associated to certain characters. Fast tempo, agitated basses and frequent modulations were commonly used to express anguish, excitement, heroism or rage, and descending melodic lines in minor tonalities would be used to depict suffering. This way of thinking and ways to use the musical elements has influenced modern music too. So, all that said, everything counts, from the way you sing, the sounds you choose, the way you play your instrument, the chords, the melodic lines and motives, scales, rhythmic approach, and so on. Well then, taking all this in consideration should get your creative juices started. And now, let's make a quick overview of the musical elements so we are all on the same page. Pitch, that is how high or low we perceive a sound. Pitch can be organized in patterns or succession of sounds or notes. This is the category of harmony, chords and scales or melodies. Rhythm is the time element of music. It is related to the duration of sounds and to a given rhythmic pattern in time. Usually we hear this in relation to a steady pulse and mentally organize this pulse or tempo into meter. Pitch and rhythm are actually closely related either because of the words we use to make up the melodic line that, depending on the way we sing it, have a rhythmic cadence to it, or if it's instrumental music we use the rhythm to give a sense of flow to the melodic lines and motifs. Tone color or timbre refers to the quality of the sounds we hear, making it possible for us to distinguish between a trumpet and a clarinet, for instance. This property also helps us to create variety in our music and, as said, we can use timbre as a way to evoke certain atmospheres or associate a specific instrument to a character or a situation. To give you an idea about how important tone is, let me show you the impact of the choices you make regarding the instruments you are going to use in your compositions as it can help you achieve that dramatic effect you have in your mind. And now, see if you can identify all the instruments in this next example.
dynamics refers to how loud or soft a sound can be. Form is also one of the elements of music and although it is not related to the production of sound per se, it is a very important aspect of the storytelling side of music. It is how we organize or arrange our musical ideas into sections that may or may not be repeated throughout the music. And finally, texture is how the melodic, rhythmic and harmonic materials are combined in a musical piece. Basically, texture can be sparse or dense, depending on how many voices or instruments are playing. As a way of showing how influential and evocative the musical elements can be to one another, you will be hearing a first example with drums, bass, rhythm and solo guitar. The following example is derivative, meaning that I took one of the elements of the first music piece and built the second piece of music around it. In this case, it was the drums. I took the same basic rhythm and just changed the tempo, making it faster. Automatically, it suggested a completely different musical idea, and around it I composed a different bass and guitar groove, and at some point I also started hearing a brass section that I also added. Okay, so far everything sounds like cooking, adding ingredients and whatnot, but it's not like we are so far from the truth if you consider the ingredients to be the musical elements and the way you combine them triggers different moods or responses to your music. In the following video I will be presenting ways of how the musical elements can be worked into your music by associating them to extra musical concepts, ideas, emotions and enabling you to better express yourself through music. Talk to you there.